G'day all. Um, I'm really proud of CFA as I talk to you today. Um, on the weekend we had four significant fires across the southwest, particularly in Districts 5 and District 6. Um, it's about 15,000 hectares burnt, uh, 18 homes. We suspect there's possibly going to be more. And look, the, the firefights themselves are just um, really horrendous conditions. Late at night, no aircraft. Uh, the reality is some of our really seasoned firefighters said it's one of the f hardest firefights they've had. But look, uh, Assistant Chief Officer Luke and myself toured around there yesterday and saw at first hand some of the damage and destruction. It's fair to say the biggest issue at the moment in, that communi in these communities are, it's for me, twofold that I saw. One is, is obviously feed and, and fences for, for stock. And it's really, really pleasing to see that even then, um, our people are giving up paddocks for, uh, for stock and there's been a, a collection of feed uh, to go around to share around those communities. And the, the thing that struck me is the bond that those communities had to support each other. Um, CFA people came from right across the state in strike teams, in incident management teams to support these fires. They're a significant event, still be in recovery for some time, but gee whiz, I, I was really proud of uh, the effort that the CFA people, our crews on the ground in management teams did in support of uh, these fires and continue to be in support of these fires. So congratulations to the crews in the Southwest. Uh, congratulations to uh, our crews right across the state. Um, it, it, we all should be really proud of what we've achieved um, during this firefight. Thank you.